Hi, I'm Pam from AccuQuilt, and I'm here today to help you make this beautiful quilt behind me using the new Go Companion set for the cutting edge pattern for the six inch Go Companion set cube. Now, just a reminder that the Companion set works perfectly with the Go Cube Mix and Match 72 block set. You need them both to work together. They're buddies, they have to always be together. So before you buy the Companion set, make sure you already have that Go six inch cube. So let me show you how easy it was to cut out the pieces for this beautiful quilt behind me. So first of all, I used die number five and die number eight from the Go Cube. So I cut some rectangles and some half square triangles. And then I laid my pieces out here. So the only die that I needed from the companion set was the die number nine, which is the chisels. Now in this companion set, we have four different shapes. The first is chisel, then a signature block, and get this drunkard's path. I love drunkard's path. I think it's such a versatile die and a versatile pattern. It's really gonna be great for your addition to your new cube set. So I'm gonna cut some chisel shapes because that's the shape that I'm missing here from my pattern. So let me just tell you a little trick though. When you read the directions, it's really important that when you cut the chisel shapes, you put the wrong side of the fabric up. Don't try to fan fold it, it won't work. You have to make sure, follow the instructions and put that wrong side facing up. So I'm gonna cover my shape, which actually is gonna cut me two chisels. Now, just like all of our go dies, you want that lengthwise grain of the fabric to travel back and forth through the machine. So I'm gonna place the cutting mat on top. I'm gonna run it through here, through my go machine. Now, if you're using the six inch cube and the six inch cube companion set, you can use the go machine, the go big, or even the go baby, because the dies are small. Now, this is kind of a tip. You don't wanna lift that cutting mat off when you cut, otherwise the pieces fly everywhere. So what you wanna do is just slide that mat off. See how easy that was? Pull away the fabric that's the edge and look. Now you have perfect chisels. You'll notice we've cut off the dog ears here so you can find that quarter inch seam allowance every single time. So I'm gonna lay it here in part of my block and see all of my pieces were cut out, wasn't that so fast. So I'm just gonna take this half square triangle and my chisel. I'm gonna put right sides together. They're gonna to line up perfectly because I've cut them with my Go Fabric Cutter and dies, and I've used that quarter inch seam allowance just right along here. I'm gonna pin it, those pieces together. I pin, my mother pins, my grandmother pins, you should all pin, okay? Take it here to my sewing machine. And because those dog ears are gone, I know right away where that quarter inch seam allowance is. I'm gonna take my sewing machine and stitch. Here in the Dream Studio, I get to take off my shoes when I'm sewing. There are two types of quilters, ones who wear shoes and ones who don't. Okay, gonna take that pin away. Now look how perfect that came together. I'm just gonna take my little iron here and I'll show you how easy this is. So look, now my shape is perfect and the whole block can go together. When it's sewn together, this is what it looks like. Ta-da! Isn't that great? So all you would have to do is make two more blocks and you've already finished one of your blocks for your quilt. I'm Pam from AccuQuilt and I'm here to help you cut time so you can quilt more.